This will be for the con exercise, estimating limit values from graphs. Okay, the function h is defined for all real numbers except for x equals negative 2. So you see the hole in the graph at x equals negative 2, but again, that doesn't matter. By the way, I suggest you do limits intro first before doing this exercise. I have a video for that. Anyhow, what is the reasonable estimate for the limit as x approaches negative 2 of h of x? All right. So here is the x-axis. Here is x equals negative 2. So this line right here is x equals negative 2. All right. So we have to trace the graph from the positive side. And we also have to trace the graph from the negative side, all right, and head toward x equals negative 2. So I'm going to erase this line here. Okay, from the positive side, go to x equals negative 2. If we trace the graph right here, x equals negative 2, the y coordinate, it looks like it's a little bit less than negative 6. All right, so I'm going to estimate negative 6.2. I don't know what their multiple choice will say. It might say negative 6. And then coming from the other side, tracing the graph to x equals negative 2, we end up at the same point right here. And the y coordinate is about negative 6.2. All right, so it approaches the same number for both sides. So that's important. Okay, I said negative 6.2. And if you look at their answers, they have negative 6.3. So that's the closest. Okay, once again, like we said in the limits intro exercise, if it approaches a different number from each side, then the limit doesn't exist. So do the limits intro exercise first. Function f is defined for all real numbers. What is the reasonable estimate for the limit as x approaches 4? Okay, so I'll tell you right now, this jump here doesn't do anything, okay? You can basically just ignore this point because we're not looking to evaluate the function at f of 4, okay? We're looking to see what the graph actually approaches, okay? And we're going to x equals 4. So this does not necessarily equal f of 4, okay? You can't just go to x equals 4 and find the y coordinate. You have to find what the graph approaches. Okay, if you just go to x equals 4 and say, oh, the y coordinate is just 5, well, that's going to be incorrect. You have to follow the graph from each side and see what it approaches, not just evaluate at x equals 4. Anyhow, if you go to x equals 4, the x-axis, this is it right here. So that's what we're approaching from each side. All right, so we're headed toward x equals 4 from both sides, and it has to match. Otherwise, it's DNE, does not exist. So we are tracing the graph, all right, not the actual point. We're tracing the graph headed toward x equals 4, and if you trace the graph, it's right here. It's a little below 7, so I'm going to say it's about 6.7. And if you come from the other side, from this side, and you trace the graph, you land on the same spot at x equals 4. Okay, so it's the same from both sides, approximately 6.7. Don't worry about this jump here. We're looking at what the graph approaches, not what it actually is. All right, so my estimate was 6.7. The function g is defined for all real numbers except for x equals 6. What is a reasonable estimate for the limit as x approaches 6 of g of x? All right, so we're approaching x equals 6 from both sides, and this one's pretty easy. We can see x, x axis here is x equals 6 right here. All right, so we're approaching x equals 6 from both sides. All right, 
and we can see it already from this side here if you go to x equals six and if you trace it i'll do it in a different color if you trace this to the y-axis that's a 2.7 and from this side here same thing 2.7 it's the same if you come from this side or you come from this side it's going to land on the same spot 2.7 all right last one the function g is defined for all real numbers except x equals 5. all right you can see at x equals 5 there's an asymptote there so in other words the graph approaches x equals 5 but never reaches it what is a reasonable estimate for the limit as x approaches 5. okay so they have the, they have the asymptote at x equals 5 and we're going to trace the graph from both sides going to x equals 5. All right, now if we come from this side, we're on this graph here, and you can see it just goes straight down to negative infinity. And then if you come from this side here, we're on this graph here, and that goes up to positive infinity. All right, so we're looking for the y coordinate as x approaches 5. Here it goes straight down. Here it goes straight up. It doesn't match on both sides, okay? Since it doesn't match from each side, we're going to say the limit does not exist all right because here it goes straight up here it goes straight down it doesn't it doesn't meet doesn't exist